Uh, you remember my corporation, Cramerica Industries? All right. Yeah, well, apparently NYU is very enthusiastic about their students getting some real-world corporate experience. But you only provide fantasy world corporate experience. <laughs> So how are you feeling? A little tired. Uh-huh. Does your back hurt? How did you know? Well, it's obvious. You know, you're carrying a lot of extra baggage up there. Up here? Oh, yeah, top floor. <laughs> Listen, Frank, uh, have you ever considered wearing something for support? Now, look at this. Mind you, this is just a prototype. You want me to wear a bra? No, no. A bra is for ladies. Meet the bro. <laughs> Nobody can reach Wilkinson. He hasn't been home or in his office in the past three days. You no, know, I can't believe you put your money in that Zentrex. You could have invested in my rollout tie dispenser. <laughs> the rollout tie dispenser. What was that one? Okay, you're in a restaurant. You got a very big beating coming up. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> you got mustard on your tie. Oh, no. You just tear it off and you got a new one right here. <laughs> then you're gone. You know, Darren, if you had told me 25 years ago that someday I'd be standing here about to solve the world's energy problems, I would have said you're crazy. Now let's push this giant ball of oil out the window. <laughs> so, check out my view. Wow. Hey, there's Claire. I better go down. Hey, it's Kramer and Darren. Hey, there's the giant ball of oil. Claire's right underneath that thing. Claire! Hello! 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 I don't believe this. I'm not looking up if you're going to do that voice. Bounce away! This is going to be a shame. <laughs> oh. Hello. Well, that didn't work. Hey, how about this? Ketchup and mustard in the same bottle. Oh, that sounds interesting, sir. Yeah. <laughs> smell, smell. Yeah, so? Okay, now you recognize it? I don't know. The beach. <laughs> What are you talking oh, about? Oh, I'm talking about the beach. <laughs> what about it? You know the way you smell when you first come home from the beach? Well, I want to make a cologne that captures <laughs> the essence of that smell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> Wait a minute. You... Did you hear what I just said? You think people are gonna pay $80 a bottle to smell like uh, dead fish and seaweed? <laughs> That's why people take showers when they come home from the beach. It's uh, an objectionable, offensive odor. So you don't think that it's a good idea? <laughs> Mr. Lippin, I'm sorry I was in Queens. Oh. Kramer. Yeah, hi, Elaine. What are you doing in here with that? Uh, well, it's a business transaction. <laughs> Listen, uh, petty cash just had 10s and 20s. Go ahead, count yeah, it. Go ahead. I'm sure it's all here. Huh? You know, I was just admiring your coffee table out there in the hall. You like that, huh? I had that custom made for me in Santa Fe. You mind if I use it in my book? What book? Well, I'm doing a coffee table book on coffee tables. <laughs> About coffee tables? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Well, I'm still shopping it around. Yeah? You see, this is the kind of idea you should be coming in with. What the hell do you do around here all day, anyway? Why? God, the that's that I Indian really completes the room. <laughs> Don't you think? It's called the bro. Or the manzir. Yeah, but I prefer the bro. I like manzir. Well, I have to tell you, it's a very interesting idea. Yeah. You know, selling bras exclusively to women, we're really only utilizing 50% of the market. That's what we figured, huh? I told you. And to be perfectly frank, uh, I've always felt I could use some support. I know when I'm wearing Banlon, <laughs> there appears to be some jiggling. 
I wouldn't be caught dead in Banlan. So, uh, what do you see in the back? Hooks, Velcro, and... Uh, definitely what? Velcro. Oh. Uh, say you're getting intimate with a woman. Uh, you don't want her fumbling and struggling back there. <laughs> I think we've all experienced that. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking, why is Kramer getting 25%? Well, he told you about the place. So what? Why is that worth 25%? It's a finder's fee. You know what a finder's fee is? You find something, you get a fee. Finder's fee is 10%, no more. Well, it's too late now. Those are my coats. I saved them, I stored them. I've been waiting years for this payoff. Well, you're not going to say anything. Hmm. I've been thinking about something. Yes, yeah, so have I. I don't think the deal is fair. You don't think it's no, fair? No, no, no. I found the place, I set the whole thing up, I'm doing all the legwork. What? Legwork. Oh, there's legwork. If anything, you're getting too much. <laughs> too much? That's right, they're my coats. Okay, look, I want 35%. I'm thinking more like 15. No way I've taken 15. Well, you're not getting 35. All right, let's compromise. 25%. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> Because Van Buren, our eighth president, was the man they most admired. <laughs> Kramer, my friend, that is one ripping good yarn. Uh, you know, if you like that one, I got more. <laughs> and what are you looking for? Uh, romance? Uh, comedy? Adventure? Erotica? Um, no, uh, Kramer, I don't think... How much would you take for the whole lot? <laughs> My whole life. Name your price, man. Fifteen hundred dollars. I'll give you half that. Done. Kramer, my friend, we consider Elaine at your disposal. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, I like to work in the evenings. I've got room for two, but the only thing I have is in the non-filter section. Hey, hey. What, what, what do you got, a smoker's lounge in there? Oh, yeah, people really seem to be enjoying themselves. You know, they come in once. It's like they're addicted. What were you doing with that bus yesterday? Here you go, here you go. Check it out. <laughs> it's the real Peterman reality bus tour. I'm confused. The Peterman book is big business. People want to know the stories behind the stories. Nobody wants to go on a three-hour bus tour of a totally unknown person's life. I'm only charging $37.50, plus you get a pizza bagel and dessert. What's dessert? Bite-sized three musketeers. <laughs> Just like the real Peterman eats. He eats those? No, I eat those. I'm the real Peterman. I, I don't... Wait a minute. What? I think I understand this. Jay Peterman is real. His biography is not. Now you, Kramer, are real. Talk to me. But your life is Peterman's. Now, the bus tour, which is real, takes you to places that, while they are real, they are not real in the sense that they did not really happen to the real Peterman, which is you. Understand? Yeah, it's thirty-seven fifty for Three Musketeers. What is this uh, MI 10 cents? That's Michigan. In Michigan, you get 10 cents. 10 cents? Yeah. Wait a minute, you mean you get 5 cents here and 10 cents there? You could round up bottles here and, and run them out to Michigan no, for the difference? that doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? You get enough bottles together. Yeah, you <laughs> overload your inventory and you blow your margins on gasoline. Trust me, it doesn't work. Hey, you're not talking that Michigan deposit bottle scam. No, no, you? I'm off that. You tried it? Oh, yeah, every which way. Couldn't crunch the numbers. It drove me crazy. <laughs> it's the truck, Kramer. The truck! Look, Newman, I told you to let this thing go! No, 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 listen to me. Most days, the post office sends one truckload of mail to the second domestic regional sorting facility in Saginaw, Michigan. Uh -huh. But on the week before holidays, we see a surge. On Valentine's Day, we send two trucks. On Christmas, four, packed to the brim. And tomorrow, if history is any guide, we'll see some spillover into a fifth truck. Mother's Day. The mother of all mail days. <laughs> I guess we signed up for the truck. A free truck? <laughs> oh, boy, that completely changes our cost structure. Our G&A goes down 50%. We carry a couple of bags of mail, and the rest is ours. Newman, you magnificent bastard, you did it! What the collecting thing is! Hey, trouble down at the plant? <laughs> it's a drum of oil. Darren and I are finally going to test my bladder system. You have to drink that whole thing? 
No, 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 no. It's for oil tankers. All I need to do is fill some sort of rubber container with oil and then drop it to see whether or not it can withstand the impact. I understand. <laughs> Would a uh, giant rubber ball work? Conceivably. Well, Play Now has all kinds of different rubber balls. Why don't we test your bladder system at my office? You're not. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Mr. Tomasulo likes to play dirty. Well, there's nothing dirtier than a giant ball of oil. I still have to talk about this to Mr. de Grandmont. Of course, yes. But barring any unforeseen developments, gentlemen, I think we're sitting on a winner. You know, I have boxes of those sitting in my garage in Florida. Get them up here. You know, you give me 25%, I'll, I'll take care of everything. You got a deal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is like the meeting of Smith and Wesson. <laughs>